Hello friends, welcome back to Sabrina's Way. My name is Sabrina and on this channel, I share my experiences with e-commerce, marketplaces, and platforms that I use to sell and tips and tools that you can possibly use for yours as well. So if you are in e-commerce, this video is for you. I'm gonna be talking about Shopify and WordPress. I my switch between the two and what you should be looking for if you're looking to start an e-commerce business or if you already have one, um, some ideas for you to branch out and try something new. If you are a beginner with building websites, I don't wanna discourage you from trying WordPress. I actually want you to try and I'm gonna give you a tip for how you can start kind of like using it and figuring it out so you can take advantage of that in the future and you get it don't get so uh, tied up to Shopify. So my experience with WordPress comes from my first website. But when I decided to launch my e-commerce business two years ago, I don't know why I was just thought based on all the advertisement and everything I saw from Shopify that Shopify will be the way to go. And that's exactly what I did. I went for it. I bought the themes, which they're not cheap. And then I went on to like move and change and put things. But my ability to really tailor the website without having to have external help and hire other people to do that work was very, very limited. And based on experience that I had with WordPress, where I could like change and move and add, I was kind of limited, but I didn't really think about it much because I thought that Shopify was definitely gonna be the way to go. And I still believe it is the way to go for a lot of people. So I don't discourage anyone from using Shopify, but I think it's important to understand your limitations as well and the investment that's also gonna take for you to take that website to the next level. But for some reason, it just took me two years until I finally decided to switch to WordPress. And let me tell you, that's the best decision I made. And my best advice for switching, I went with a hosting company called Kinsta, which they're not paying me to say this, they have been one of my best findings out there. I have never experienced this customer experience in anywhere I have dealt with. Their customer support is completely online. You can message them. They will send you memes all the time. I had such a great time and every single person that I interacted with pretty much solve every single problem that I came across with WordPress, which it was in the beginning, it was the theme that wasn't installed properly and it was my fault. And then they helped me like remove it, start over again. And all of the suggestions, all the content that they provided was all tailored to help me get from point A to point Z and launch my store. Those are little things to keep in mind. I hope this video gave you some insight, ideas for you to kind of make decisions on how to figure it out, what's the best platform. For me personally, I am very happy with WordPress right now. I'm very grateful I made the switch, but I highly recommend to also understand what are your options. So as your business grow, you know what is the best step for you. So. Thank you for being here. Like this video if you enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Bye.